Hey guys, Sarah here with you and this uh, video is how to sell your manga's image or how to make your manga or comic more popular. Uh, whether you want to sell it or whether you want to make it famous. So uh, let me tell you at first that making your manga popular doesn't ha happen over a course of a day or a night. It takes time. At least it takes one year to build up an audience that will connect to you and the product that you are providing them. In this case, the product will be your webcomic, your manga, um, your drawing, whatever you're doing. So it's going to take some time. The most important thing is that um, you see that your audience number is growing. You have more subscribers on the course of time. Now that you know, at at the beginning, you might as, as n you might not get as much subscribers as you get from a year from now, because I have seen this uh, with my channel. At the beginning, I used to have like a subscriber every one week or maybe every ten days, you get one subscriber at the max. Now I could have like up to three subscribers in one day, uh, and in the last two months or probably last six weeks I've got about 100 subscribers after kind of um, yeah around that around that maybe like four or six weeks I don't remember but uh, it have increased by about 100 to 112 subscribers something like that so um, you have to be patient through this process if you really want to make your work more more popular and you truly really really want want your work to be known so uh, this brings me to my next point which is do you want your work to be known or do you want to sell it because you can make your work popular like what Tisei Gaweb has done and they're putting their manga on the internet for free and it really is a good story you know, a lot of people know about it. They have about 1,000 subscribers who read their uh, online free manga. Or do you want to do something like what Rona has done, which is selling your manga's image? What Rona has done is absolutely genius, is that they made their product very interesting. And so people are kind of interested to see what, what, their, what the manga will look like in the end. Um, here's a question that a lot of people would ask. Did what Rona have done is like what Mark Curley have done? In the same, in in some sort of sense, yes, because they both used social media, which is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Social media is the media that allows you to kind of uh, post something, and somebody else can comment on it, and you can comment back. And so there is two way of uh, connection between you which is the one who made the message and the message and the receiver the one that you sent the message to so there is a connection between you and the receiver of this message so that's the social media they have used it to connect with their fans and to make their product more popular but Mark Curley has already worked in in comic books and he already kinda had like uh, jobs where he worked with publishing houses before and so for him to get a publishing deal was not as hard as the Rona project who have never worked in a publishing house before they've only yes they won contests but that doesn't that doesn't mean that they are professionals and it will be easy for them to get a publishing deal because it's so hard because um in a little bit uh when you go into publishing and learning stuff about publishing publishing is really expensive and so those people who are publishing the material especially like comics comics is colored so comics is pretty expensive unlike manga which is black and white which kind of cuts about two-thirds of the costs of um, of a comic which is colored and big or at least that's what I, what I, I, I know because I know that here magazines are pretty expensive media to kind of work with and to publish and it, 
advertising that's put in the magazine kind of cover up the costs of uh, the publishing, and that's a totally different, uh, totally different story. So Mark Crowley, yes, he have done similar stuff to make his product more, m more you know, popular, like Rona would, and and you know, Rona and Mark, they're aiming to make your product popular. So yes, they went through that direction, but as far as their publishing. Um, Rona has a different direction from Mark Curley, so just to make that clear. Again, I will uh, talk in details more in future videos about publishing and self-publishing because those are very two different matters when you're publishing with a publishing house and when you're publishing with um, or self-publishing. Uh, self so you have to first you're starting an account all right and you're putting your work on it what is it that you want to work manga comic random work like i do what is it exactly because there's some people out there who just i want to work in a place where i can draw but i don't know what I can like come up with a story because I'm not good at stories so I'm looking for somebody who can hire me to work with comics or, or something like that and so they start drawing like on speed arts and they show it to people and trying to make themselves more popular so that could be another direction uh, for the per people who draw not everybody who draws on YouTube uh, is capable of making a story they're good at drawing but they're not capable you know there's a lot of people like that uh it's rarely to see a, a person working you know like drawing and writing by himself it's it's tough to handle both jobs at the same time so there could be lots of directions where you want from your what you really want to do so I need you to kind of figure out and ask this question to yourself. What do I do want with my channel? Do I want to make a manga? Do I want to work in, in some sort of area and I'm trying to make myself popular so I can, uh, when I go to that area and I show them my channel, like, look here, this is my subscribers and they see me and they see my work and there here are the comments and so on. Yes, I know it's a little bit confusing, but when you set up your objective it will be much easier and probably I will explain later um, about the objective and you know because at this point there's a lot of people who are kind of confused and what they want to do really like yes I want to draw no maybe I'll draw more fan art maybe no I don't want to work in manga maybe I want to draw more so what is it that you really want to do so think about it and um, I won't say like it will be your absolute answer, but at least you know keep a clear idea on what you're doing in your future path. And in the next video, I will talk more about how to build up a channel that will be um, that will suit your objective. That's why I'm asking you to think about what you really want to do. So yeah, I'll, I'll, next video I'll tell you how to build up the channel and how to make your channel more popular. This was kind of an introduction. Uh, I hope that it kind of clarified a lot of stuff for you for what's going to happen in the next couple of videos. And I hope that was useful for you. Alright, I'll see you in another video guys. Later.